Summer is here, downtown is hopping, and business is booming. I'm Huntley Harrison, together with Richard Garvin and Jerry Panuchik, to bring you the July installment of Chatham Today, the show that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the town of Chatham. Before we get to the many events and activities for the month of July, we have to start with the Chatham 4th of July Parade. We certainly can't forget that. The parade runs from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. on Main Street with this year's theme, Hats Off to Chatham. With more than 70 entries, this should be one of the largest parades Chatham has had. An expected crowd of 20,000 means you will have to come early to stake out your parade-side plot. This is always a great, great event. In addition to the parade, you can have breakfast at St. Christopher's Church beginning at 8 a.m. Proceeds from the breakfast help to support the various church programs. And if it's lighter fare that you want, the Congregational Church will have a refreshment stand from 8 to 11 at the Rotary. After the parade, the Methodist Church will have its Strawberry Festival from 11 to 12 p.m., featuring Strawberry Shortcake, everybody's favorite on the 4th of July. Also available will be hot dogs, sandwiches, and beverages. Continuing, we'll start with the Creative Arts Center the 33rd Annual Sacrifice Art Sale will take place daily at the center from July 3rd through the 8th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., except for the 4th of July. Oils, watercolors, pastels, prints, pottery, photos, books, and supplies. If you need it, they've got it. Come in, get a great bargain, and support the Creative Arts Center. Next on their agenda for July is a one-man show. Jack Garver, A Career in Watercolor, Worlds Apart. This show will run from July 13th through August 2nd with an opening reception on July 13th from 5 to 7 p.m. Mr. Garver is a master watercolorist and is a longtime friend and instructor at the center. There are also a variety of art classes for children and adults. Visit the website for information on these opportunities. The address is on the screen now. The Creative Arts Center in Chatham provides a vibrant educational resource for all ages where the visual arts are explored and celebrated through classes, exhibitions, and special events. For more information about workshops and a complete listing of the spring and summer classes, come into the center on Kroll Road. Call them at 508-945-3583 or check their website, www capecodcreativearts.org. Drop in, take a tour, and inquire about becoming a member. If you're interested in learning about art or becoming an artist, this is where you want to be. And now for the July events at the Council on Aging. Adult tap dancing classes continue on Thursdays with intermediate tap at 10 a.m. and beginner tap at 11. The cost is $80 for 12 classes prepaid. This includes four free classes. Instructor Leah Harrington has been teaching dance for over 20 years. The classes are for all levels, men or women. We will work with props like hats, canes, and tambourines, all provided. You will need to wear comfortable clothing and tap shoes. A limited selection of shoes will be available for borrowing. Tap shoes are available for purchase at Payless or online at Discount Dance Supply. Cost for each class, $10. There will be no class on July 4th as the Senior Center will be closed. Join one or both. Call the COA at 508-945-5190 to register for this exciting and unique experience. Monday lunches continue at the COA Cafe. $7 includes bread basket, entree, beverages, and dessert. Dine in or pick up to go. Reservations are required by the Friday before, so don't forget to call. Also, soup to go available each week while supplies last. $4 a pint. And finally, volunteer opportunities at the COA. Want to join a fun group of people and provide services to our local seniors? Do you have a special talent or interest to share? 
become a volunteer at the COA. Are you computer savvy? Interested in a social customer service oriented experience? Receptionists needed at the COA. Would you enjoy a complimentary meal prepared by our chef? Monday cafe servers are needed. Do you love the feel of holding an actual book? I know I do. Come work with our veteran librarians. Are you more technolo technology oriented? Varied volunteer opportunities are available. We'd love to hear from you and have an opportunity to answer your questions. Contact Volunteer Coordinator Eva Souza at 508-945-5190 for more information. And now for what's happening at the Eldridge Library. Wednesday, July 10th, 7 to 9 p.m., Ballroom Shenanigans. Sounds like fun to me. So brush up on your foxtrot and more with teacher Brett Ouchkunis as we dance under the stars in the library parking lot. We'll move indoors if it rains. Adults and teens are invited to join in for fun, laughs, exercise, and some truly excellent skills. No experience necessary. Wear comfortable clothes and your dancing shoes. No registration necessary, but come early. When the parking lot is full of dancers, the rope will close. English language and conversation class. The Eldridge Public Library offers an English language and conversation class which is designed to provide an opportunity for people to practice and improve their English. That's something I maybe should take. The ESL conversation class is free and open to the public. The class will be held on Tuesday evenings at 5.30 p.m. and will run through September. If you are interested in attending, please contact Amy Andreessen at the library, 508-945-5170, or stop by the front desk. For those of you in the mood for a movie, check out Family Flicks at the library. Need a break from the sun? Rain changing your plans? Unexpected company? Bring a bean bag or a pillow and join us for a family movie celebrating our summer reading theme. Refreshments will be served on a first come, first served basis. No registration is required. Remember, if your child is eight years of age or younger, you must accompany your moviegoer. That's Fridays from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Check it out. To find out more about programs and events at the Eldridge Public Library, visit their website, www.eldridgelibrary.org. The address is on the screen right now. Wrapping up the month of July, we will highlight several events, but there is much, much more going on, and we refer you to the Chatham Chamber of Commerce website for a full listing. Chatham Lighthouse Tours, Wednesdays from 1 to 3.30 p.m. Caleb Nickerson House Tours, Wednesdays 9 to 1 through the summer. Monomoy Theater, in their 56th season, continues throughout the summer with a new play each week, and this summer promises to be one of the best ever. For tickets and information, you can visit their website at www.monomoytheater.com. And if movies are your thing, come to the Monomoy Movie Nights at the Community Center on Wednesdays during the months of July and August. Free family-friendly films under the stars on the Chatham Community Center long. Bring your bug spray. Movies begin at dusk, and pre-movie games, activities, and concessions begin at 7.15 p.m. All children must be supervised by an adult. Monomoy Movie Nights are sponsored and organized by Monomoy Community Services with support from Chatham Parks and Recreation. For a listing of the movies, you can visit the Monomoy Community Services website at www.monomoy.org slash movie night. It is on the screen now. Wednesday night fun nights at the First Congregational Church, 
3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tie-dye, make your own shirts, $5 for children, $10 for adults. On Thursday nights from 5 to 7.30 p.m., you can have a meal at St. Martin's Lodge on Harbor Road. Clam chowder, lobster rolls, steamed clams, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, soda, and desserts, all at reasonable prices. Plus, there's always a weekly special. Also, lobster roll supper, Fridays at the First United Methodist Church. Friday night grill at St. Christopher's Church throughout the summer. And a whole variety of concert series at the various town churches. For example, the Music for a Summer's Night concert series takes place in the sanctuary at the First United Methodist Church, Sunday evenings at 8 p.m., handicap accessible. An offering will be taken at each performance, a portion of which goes to church and local charities. The a cappella group, Hyannis Sound, will perform at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays at St. Christopher's Church on Main Street. On Wednesdays, in Cape Gould Park, from 6 to 7.30 p.m., there is the TD Bank Summer Concert Series, presented by the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod and TD Bank. This free concert series consists of four weekly concerts beginning July 3rd and ending July 24th. For the performance schedule, you can visit the Arts Foundation website at www.artsfoundation.org slash summer concerts Chatham. It's on your screen now. And of course, we can't forget, now in its 81st season, the Chatham Town Band Concerts. Every Friday through August 30th from 8 to 9.30 p.m. at the Witt Towson Bandstand, also in Cape Gould Park. On Friday evenings, all roads on the Cape lead to the band concert in the park. The Sharks are on the move. Now that the Sharks in the Park display is gone, the Sharks will be swimming through town. Throughout the summer, there will be shark sightings in town. Instead of Lighthouse Beach, you will find them swimming through various locations in Chatham. See if you can guess where the sharks will turn up next. This event will culminate with a live and online auction sponsored by the Merchants Association to be held at the Shark Gala at Chatham Bars Inn on August 1st for people to bid on purchasing each shark sculpture. Proceeds from the auction will go to the development of the Chatham Shark and Marine Life Research Center Foundation. Shark expert Greg Skomel and O-Search founder Chris Fisher will be on hand to talk about his work with the great white sharks along with many surprises in the works. This will be the event of the summer. Would you like to be a shark hunter? Sharks in the Shops gives you an opportunity to be one. All you have to do is pick up a shark hunter logbook at the Chamber of Commerce booth on Main Street and start hunting. Visit shops and businesses in town, find their shark, and have them sign your logbook. Once completed, return the logbook to the Chamber's information booth for a drawing to be held Labor Day weekend for the three Chatham gift baskets. Remember, there is more information about other events on the Chamber of Commerce website. Well, that wraps it up for this time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Chatham Today. Remember, the show runs on Mondays at 9 a.m. and Wednesdays at 8 p.m., plus several other times during the week. If you miss the cable cast or need to see it again, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, or visit our website. The web address is on the screen now. And if you are interested in producing your own show on Public Access Channel 99, we encourage you to do so. We know that there are viewers who have an interest or a passion in something that they want to share with others. And you can do it via public access television. For further information, you can contact Linda Sandu at the Cape Cod Community Media Center, 
2388. Chatham Today is a video chronicle of events and activities in the town of Chatham. If you would like to have what's happening in your organization announced on the air, please email us at chathamtoday at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. You can also like us on Facebook under Chatham Today. We hope you do. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you down the road.